Away from that, the Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, has impounded a total of 396 vehicles conveying over 2,422 passengers in the general operation area of its 12 general commands across the country for indiscriminate violation of presidential directives and physical distancing in vehicles. In a statement signed by the Corps Public Education Officer, Bisi Kazim, the highest number of impoundment were recorded in Rivas, Enugu and Kwara, while Ekiti and Niger State recorded the lowest figures. He also gave the breakdown of the arrests as Rivas, 67, Enugu, 48, Kwara, 47, Sokoto, 37, Adamawa, 36, Delta, 31 and Oyo, 23. Others are Kaduna and Bochi with 16 each, Eboi, 14, while each of Lagos and Ondo recorded a total of 11, respectively. Joining us live via telephone is Hygienius Omeje, FRSC Sector Commander, Lagos. Thank you for your time with us this morning. Thank you very much. The Federal Road Safety Corps has arrested a total of 396 vehicles, um, as the report highlighted. Please share more details on this and some of your findings? Well, um, those figures as released by the core public education officer, the estimation of all the data sent from the field command, uh, which uh, saddled with the responsibility of uh, enforcing the presidential directive on uh, interstate movements during this um, uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, exercise. Uh, of course, you know that uh, the call, uh, working in synergy with other sister agencies, are uh, very much visible in this enforcement, uh, both at uh, inter-border routes, uh, interstate border routes, and of course, even within the uh, state also. Uh, our concern here is that um, one of the modes that uh, this uh, disease can be easily transmitted is via uh, uh, transit. Uh, if we do not maintain that physical distancing while commuting, then we may have a big problem in our hand where you keep on uh, uh, transmitting this from one state to the other. As the state is bringing down the prevalence rate in their state, then another, somebody will carry it from other states and can't just come in. So we are very much um, aware of this, and that is why every FRSC operative in any of these joint operations, we are always particularly about, uh, particular about the issue of the loading pattern. Now, the, 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 the various states have brought out what they want the vehicles within the state to be loaded. Lagos, for example, every damn full bus that you see on the road, what we agreed on is that they should have two two in a row. By so doing, you discover that you will not have any physical contact with the next person sitting close by you. Uh, that is in addition to also making sure that everybody in the vehicle will also put on face masks. And this, okay. which is very, very important also. Still so focusing on your doing. jurisdiction. Um, I, I yes. know there's a lot of uh, measures out there to uh, curtail the spread of the virus, which you've explained so far. But let's look at the level of compliance, like uh, the guidelines, most especially uh, by public transport operators. You mentioned uh, the maximum allowed is two per seat with face masks, but are they compliant? Because we hear a lot of concerns about how they are going to make their returns. Um, they, need, they also need to pay the um, a motor park um, administration and all of that. So how is this factoring in? Now, I, 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 the good thing about Lagos uh, case study is that we, we had a stakeholders meeting um, called at the instance of the Honorable Commissioner for Transport. And in that meeting, the various unions were also represented. There was a, a, an engagement you know, between the stakeholders whereby the retained NURTW, they were part of this agreement that this is what the loading pattern is. And they followed it up also 
by also having their own tax force that is working together with the tax force of the state government. So it is something that we need to, out of two greater evils, you have to choose a lesser one. What is it here, the issue of uh, financial gains and the life of the people? Which one is, uh, 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 should we give attention to? Which one comes first? Which one takes priority? I think anything that has to be done in the interest of public interest, overriding public interest, should come first. So the issue of meeting their return and all those things, we know that this is a situation we have found ourselves, and we just need to make sure that we survive, we come out of this alive force before we can start talking of economic gains. All right, let's talk about um, sensitization. A lot of persons are saying people still don't get the importance. There are people who think that the whole COVID-19 situation is not real, is a makeup of um, uh, the elite, so to speak. What plans are on the ground by the FRC to sensitize people like this the more to ensure there is total compliance with some of these directives? On a daily basis, our public enlightenment uh, officers they are sent to parks on what we call park advocacy. And um, part of the message they pass has to do with this uh, issue of COVID-19 and the need for people to, first and foremost, like you rightly pointed out, um, be aware that this is real. It's not a fluke. It's not as if anybody is making up anything anywhere. It's, it's something that uh, our eyes have seen, and you can also go to the various centers to know that it is real. Those people there, they are not there because the, the comfort of their home is, is, uh, is, is that that place is better than the comfort of their home. No, they are there because the, the reality has dawned on them that this is real, and that they have to be in the isolation center. It's unfortunate that some people still toy with this, but I pray that our story will not be like that of uh, other countries where the, the, the statistics of the fatalities is down in 80,000 and, 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 and things like that. Well, so we, we we, on a daily basis, it. we continue to sensitize people. Even at bus stops, we, come, we, we, we send out officers to talk to people, to Still realize talking about what is facing us. Okay, uh, still talking about your efforts, there seems to be checkpoints at every uh, corner, creating a traffic um, situation in some parts of Lagos, for instance, like uh, Bega and the OPIC axis. What is the need for this development? That Bega OPIC uh, checkpoint is the interstate border between Lagos and Ogu for that axis. For every um, border, we have border posts with Ogu at that axis. We also have one at um, Songo Ota axis. We also have by Ijebode Ekpe axis. So there are border checkpoints like that to prevent um, interstate uh, 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 migrations because you know that you are not expected to travel from one state to the other. Especially, except, except, except if you are, of course, on the exempted list. So that is what it is for. Okay, now, now that the lockdown is relaxed, expectedly more vehicles apply in Lagos roads. Is there any strategy put in place to effectively control the flow of traffic during this period? Yes, there is. The State Traffic Management Agency, the last month, they are still maintaining their statutory responsibility of managing traffic within the city centre in Lagos. FRNC police, they are also lending a helping hand in these areas. So we'll continue to manage the traffic vis-à-vis -vis also ensuring that people do not spread this disease while commuting, while in these uh, 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 various modes of uh, transportation in Lagos. And the issue of traffic gridlock in Lagos is not a new thing. We, 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 we have been with it and will continue to manage it, you know, the, to the best of our abilities. But we want to, I want to use this opportunity to appeal to Lagosians that there is need to cooperate with the various traffic management agencies within this period. And Lagosians should understand that this is a real situation facing us. A situation whereby a bus pulls up and you see people rushing for it. We need to put that behind us and go back to the era when at bus stops you see people queuing 
and if a boss comes, we enter in, uh, one after the other, depending on who came first. All right, Hygiene is Omeje. Thank you very much uh, for your contribution on the news this morning. Thank you very much. It's appreciated.